Welcome to the Gorilla 6 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to tag a screenplay in your screenplay program before you import the screenplay into Gorilla. There are two screenplay programs that allow tagging. Those are Final Draft and Movie Magic Screenwriter. In this video, we're going to go over Final Draft. If you are using Final Draft 10, then watch the earlier video, How to Tag a Screenplay in the Gorilla 6 video series. I'm going to be using Final Draft 11 in this video. In general, you don't need to tag your screenplay in Final Draft or Movie Magic Screenwriter before you import it into Gorilla. This is an option that these two screenplay programs give you. I am going to open a screenplay in Final Draft 11, one that is not tagged. Let me explain tagging in a screenplay first before I do it. Scene information, or the slug line shown here, is automatically imported into Gorilla. There's no need to tag anything here. Characters that have speaking roles in the screenplay, such as this character, this character, and these characters here will all import into Gorilla. The items that you want to tag are elements, such as props, set dressing, costumes, etc., that you will need to shoot that scene. So let's go back to scene one. In Final Draft 11, if you want to start tagging, from the production drop down menu, select Tags mode. When you are in Tags mode, you can't type your screenplay. Keys work differently. So let me show you what is happening. The first thing I notice that could be tagged is Mercedes. If you need a line of fancy cars on this street, it needs to be tagged. Put your mouse over the phrase and highlight gleaming Mercedes. When you let go of the mouse, you will see a list of categories. This should attach to the Vehicles category, so I will select Vehicles and then Tag. Let's go to Scene 2. There is a reference here to a broken neon sign. This is something that is needed for this scene, so it should be tagged. Highlight the phrase, and this time the category for this element should be Set Dressing. You need to scroll down a bit to see more categories. You can't expand the window here to see all of them at once. And here is Set Dressing. So I will select that and then click the Tag button. You should familiarize yourself with the built-in categories available to you. You can see all categories by going to the Navigator window. If you don't see the Navigator window, select the Navigator button and select Tags. Another feature of the Navigator window is that you can tag elements here too. This is mostly used to tag elements that are not actually written in your screenplay. So let's go back to Scene 1. Notice you have to click in the scene on the screenplay so that the navigator window reflects what is tagged in that scene. In examining scene one, it looks like the screenplay calls for possibly a crane or a drone shot of the streets of Beverly Hills. So let's add that tag in the navigator. I'm going to select the special equipment category, and then I will select the add button here and type in crane camera to glide over street. Then click add. Now what this does is highlight the slug line with the color of the last tagged item. In this way, you can browse through the screenplay and know that there is at least one or more tagged elements in this scene that are not displayed as text in the screenplay. As you can see in the navigator screen. This newly tagged element is tagged here, even though 
it is not actually seen or tagged in the screenplay display. OK, let's import a fully tagged screenplay from Final Draft into Gorilla. Once again, a final note about tagging in Final Draft. You don't have to do that here. You can do all of this in Gorilla. The only advantage to tagging here is that you can save all the tagged elements with the screenplay file. When you are ready to bring this file into Gorilla, you have two choices. To save it in the FDX file format, select File, then Save As. And here, you can see the file format is the FDX file format. And I will now launch Gorilla. And from the Project Manager, I will select the New or Load Schedule button, then select the Import Load Screenplay button. And notice here I have two options. We exported to the FDX file, so I will select that. You will get an alert that you should number your scenes in Final Draft prior to saving, which was already done. I will click Continue and type a name for the schedule here and find and import the file. Let's take a look at the first few scenes. Here in Scene 1 are the two tagged items from Final Draft. The gleaming Mercedes we tagged in Tags mode by highlighting the text in the action and selecting the vehicles category. And as you can see by the color of the element, it is attached to the vehicles category. And this second element, crane camera to glide over street, we tagged in the navigator in Final Draft and attached it to the category special equipment. Here are a couple more tagged items in scene two and scene three all attached to the proper category, as identified by the color of that category. Now, in scene four, this is the first time we see a cast member, Barney. And if we go back to the screenplay and go to scene four, you will notice that the character Barney has some dialogue. This character was automatically tagged and brought in from Final Draft. There was no need for us to tag it manually, like the other elements. Now, the great thing about Gorilla Scheduling is that you can continue to tag items on breakdown sheets. Let's do that right now. I'll go to scene 5 by selecting it in the navigator. And in this scene, I know we need a kitchen table and some utensils and a huge vat of gazpacho soup on the stove, as this is in the screenplay but was not tagged. There's no need to go back to the screenplay. Let's add a few elements to this scene. The first thing we need is a kitchen table. I will select the set dressing category. And in the list here, you will see all the available elements attached to the set dressing category. I don't see kitchen table, so I will create that now. And notice it is automatically attached to the scene. Next, Let's create a huge vat of a gazpacho. I'll select the props category and create that. Great. And that's how you create elements on breakdown sheets in Gorilla. Next, I'm going to show you the second way to import a final draft screenplay into Gorilla by using the .sex file format. This is an older format. And you might ask, why should I use this format if I can use the FDX file format? Well, the FDX file format is an XML file. And if you have issues importing it, like certain elements don't come in, or if you're using a foreign language to write your screenplay, certain characters can get jumbled and not come in properly, then the .sex file format is a much simpler file. And most likely, you will not encounter any issues importing this file into Gorilla. There are a couple of drawbacks using the .scx file, and I will go over them in a bit. Back in Final Draft, from the File drop-down menu, 
select Export, then Script. From the File Format Options on the bottom, select Scheduling Export .sex. Go back to Gorilla and go to the Project Manager screen. Select the New or Load Schedule button and then the Import Screenplay button. This time, select the .sex button, type a name for the schedule, and click Import. When the schedule opens, the first thing you will notice is that the cast members category is empty. All the other tagged items came in, like props and sound, etc., but none of the cast members came in at all. And if you go to scene 4, which is where Barney has some dialogue and should be in this scene, notice he's not there either. This is because if you export to the .sex file, there's one more thing you need to do in Final Draft. Go back to Final Draft, and from the Production drop-down menu, select Tag All Characters. You won't see anything different in the screenplay. And now, export the .scx file as before. Remember, this is only needed if you export to the .sex file format. It is not needed if you are exporting to the .fdx file format. Let's import this new file into Gorilla. And when you do, you will see that all the characters imported properly. And also, Barney shows up in Scene 4. So, we have imported two different file formats from the same Final Draft screenplay into Gorilla. And they are both loaded into Gorilla as two separate schedules. Let me talk about some of the pros and cons of each file format. The first is the FDX file format, which shows you the synopsis here. This is the first line of action for the scene. And if you click the Show Screenplay button up here, you can see the screenplay for that scene. This makes it easier when you break down your screenplay. The second format was the .sex file format, a simpler, older format that will import a lot faster than the FDX file, but does not import the synopsis line, nor can you see the screenplay with this file format. Lastly, if you have issues with your FDX file and it does not import properly, you can always contact us and we will try to help you import it. For more screenplay import help, go to our website and look under the support menu for tips and tricks when importing a screenplay. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot. <laughs>